Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the YouTube channel, Manohar Tapsani. In this session, we are going to discuss about abstract keyword. So, what is an abstract keyword? Why do we need abstract keyword? That is what we are going to discuss in this video. So, I hope you are ready for this. Yes, sir. No? Okay, fine. Let's start with this. So, here, abstract. What is an abstract? Abstract is a keyword or you can say it's a modifier. It's a keyword or a modifier. So, an abstract is a keyword or a modifier. Next, point two. This keyword abstract is applicable with only with methods and classes we cannot declare this with the uh, variables but this is just applicable only with the methods and classes so this is declared with the methods and uh, what is that uh, methods and classes i hope this is clear now we should discuss what's an abstract method so let us see and what is an abstract class of course but only the point is this keyword can be declared with methods and classes that's all so i would like to discuss abstract method what is an abstract method so very simple we know very well if it is any method static or uh, anything else abstract method means first thing we should know about here abstract method is it is a method without body what is an abstract method a method without the body that's what we call what you call it as a abstract method so first one a method without body is called what do you call it as a abstract method no body generally when you talk about methods when you talk about methods methods have body what is that method have body so some, something like this suppose you say void m1 and then you have a body for this. You can see statements inside this, there is a body. And such method you call concrete method. What do you call it as a? Concrete. What do you call it as a? Concrete or regular methods. So this has a body. When a method has a body, you call it as a concrete or regular methods. I hope this is clear to all of you. So what is that? It is a concrete or regular methods I hope this is clear so suppose you remove this body then this is abstract method does this method has a body no. doesn't have a body then this is called abstract method. I hope this is clear but if you just declare like this a method like this technically it is not valid we can call this abstract method without body is abstract no doubt about that but it's not valid technically. If you want to make this valid, then you should declare this by using keyword. What is that keyword? Yes. Abstract. So come here. Then how do you declare this as abstract? Put abstract before this in the beginning. Abstract void M1. And this is what? Abstract method. What method? Abstract method. I hope this is clear for all of you. This is an example. Suppose if somebody asks you the syntax, the syntax of abstract method looks like this. The syntax looks like this. Abstract access modifier. If you want, you can use access modifier also. Return type. Method name. Parenthesis semicolon. And this is example. Maybe if you want, you can add public. But you know very well. If you don't use any access modifier, the access is 
default. I hope this is clear to all of you. So this is the idea about what is that uh, abstract method, a method without the body. And you declare that using keyword abstract. I hope this is clear to all of you. So that's all friends. So we'll talk more about it, the uh, pros and cons later. But this is basic idea about abstract method. Got clarity on this now? So are you ready for the next one? The next topic which we are going to discuss here is abstract class. What is that? Uh? Abstract class. But are you okay with abstract method? No? Like so. I hope this is clear to all of you, my dear.